A very important application in statistics is deals with the following. So we consider the Gaussian function, and the Gaussian function is a distribution function, and uh, what a distribution function is, you will learn in the course probability theory and statistics, but this is a function of the following type. So g of x is 1 over sigma times square root of 2 pi times e to the power minus a half. And there's the following squared term where x is the variable, mu and sigma are still the constants. And you will learn that this is actually the PDF uh, function for the normal distribution with mean, mu and standard deviation sigma. Well, the classic result is that this uh, g is actually a probability distribution, so that if we take the integral from minus infinity to infinity of gx dx, that we get 1. To show that this is true is actually a, a little bit more advanced stuff, so that's not what we're going to do here. But we're going to look at the standard normal distribution, and the standard normal distribution is this uh, typical f uh, function g with mu equals 0 and sigma equals 1. Yeah, so this is a standard normal distribution, is also a very important distribution, and uh, our function g looks for this uh, choice of parameters, it looks like the following is 1 over square root of 2 pi times e to the power minus a half x squared. Well, we'll not show that the integral from minus infinity to infinity of g equals 1, but we're going to at least we're going to show that it as it exists, and we do this by using applying the comparison theorem. Um, it's not hard to show that g of x is smaller or equal than 1 over 2, uh, the square root of 2 pi, e to the power minus a half x, since for x larger than 1, we know that x squared is at least x. Yeah, so the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over square root of 2 pi e to the power minus a half x, we, we may calculate. Yeah? So this is a typical exponential function, and uh, we find the limit for t to infinity of its primitive evaluated uh, for the boundaries 1 and t, and uh, the primitive is given by minus 2 divided by square root of 2 pi e to the power minus a half x. Yeah, so we will just evaluate this primitive in the boundaries 1 and t. So we get minus the square root of 2 over pi times e to the power minus a half t minus minus the primitive evaluated in 1. So minus minus square root of 2 over pi times e to the power minus a half. And uh, the first term, of course, for taking a t to letting t go to infinity vanishes. So we are left with the second term, which is the square root of 2 over pi times e to the power minus a half. So the comparison theorem now says that um, the integral from 1 to infinity g of x dx also exists. And uh, in particular, the integral from 0 to infinity g of x dx is the sum of two integrals, the sum of the definite integral from 0 to 1 gx dx plus the improper integral from 1 to infinity gx dx. Yeah, and we've seen that the integral from 0 to 1, of course, exists since g is a continuous function and also the second part exists. So we have that the integral from 0 to infinity converges. But also, we may split up the integral from minus infinity to infinity over g. Yeah, in, in two pieces, minus in infinity to 0 g of x plus 0 to infinity g of x. Yeah, but now realize that g is an even function, so that actually these two integrals, the left integral and the right integral, are the same. So we get 2 times the integral from 0 to infinity g x dx. And since the integral from 0 to infinity gx dx exists, also 2 times the integral from 0 to infinity gx dx exists. And therefore, 
the integral from minus infinity infinity of gx dx exists. So that's the first step in showing that actually it's worthwhile to look at integrals minus infinity infinity for the type g function that we introduced here. But more details will be provided in the course probability theory and statistics.